All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of On the Couch with Eric Bone. Today on the couch, we have uh, no one. We have no one on the couch today. It's all right. First episode, a lot of room to grow. Um, very exciting first episode. Today we answer the age-old question, is it okay to lie? All right, but before we get into that, we got a lot of fantastic things to do first. We're going to answer a question on uh, Twitter. Uh, we are going to do a fan mail unboxing, um, a movie review, and uh, a lot of great stuff today. So why don't we get started with that uh, Twitter question. Now, today's Twitter question comes from at Big Girls Don't Cry 69. That couch isn't a casting couch, is it? Because I need to know before I volunteer to sit on it. No. No, it is, it is not... It's not a casting couch, okay? Uh, but you do bring up a very good uh, point. If you want to be on this show, we do all of our castings Sunday and Monday on location in the other room. Um, you work your way up to the couch. That's what we're talking about. Um, but I'm glad you uh, reached out to us. Uh, thank you very much. If you have any questions that you want to submit, just go to at underscore N-S-O-T underscore. That's it. Uh, and submit your questions there. Uh, we will answer them on the next uh, episode. Roughly, I'll pick one, maybe two, um, and then, you know, we go from there. Uh, speaking of, let's go to our fan mail unboxing. <laughs> Today's unboxing comes from uh, Christy. She writes, Eric. My only regret is not putting these directly in your face myself. You team-killing fucktard. Christy. Ah. Well, thank you for writing, Christy, and thank you for uh, mailing us. We're going to switch over to the um, unboxing cam right now, and we're going to take a look at what's inside here. All right, let's see what we got in here. Let's see what we got in here. Snippity snip, snippity snip. Oh, look at this, look at this, tea bags. All right, looks like she uh, got us some tea bags. That, uh, that, huh. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Huh. Now, let's move on to our movie review. Now, this was recommended to me by Sebastian. He uh, told me to watch the movie Stuber. Now, Stuber stars uh, David Bautista and the dude from um, uh, fucking Silicon Valley. I got to say, the one thing that really jumped out to me about this movie was how often they used the word Uber. I mean, they used the word Uber a lot. I don't quite recall if I saw the logo, but they definitely referred to the app, um, definitely said it a lot, and it makes me wonder if either Uber spent a lot of money to have this movie made, or Uber made a lot of money from the name drops in this movie. Uh, I give Stuber a two out of three. Two out of three. Okay. Movie review done. Now we're going to go to answer the, the focal point of this episode, answering the age-old question, is it okay to lie? Now, every time someone asks you a question... You have the opportunity to lie. It doesn't matter what the question is. What time is it? Are you really interested in me? Do you have a penis? Do you speak any English? Anytime that you get this, you have really three options. Um, so the first is you can tell the truth. Now, more often than not, the truth that people are asking for is a hurtful truth. And... You have to have a moral compass to decide if you want to hurt them with the truth or hurt them with a lie. But those are only two out of three options. So let's, let's, first, let's take a good look at the first two um, because they're both awful. And the third one, I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be just as bad. Um, telling someone the truth. If someone asks you, for example, are you interested in me? Well, you can tell the truth. You can tell the truth. Uh, not really. 
but maybe. Okay, that, you soften it up with that but maybe. Uh, you, you made it up. Or you could tell a lie. Uh, of course I am. Ooh. Now, which is the lesser of the two evils? Because one, it's going to hurt. But they were asking for it, so what the fuck? Two, they're going to find out you lying to them, but you're also hurting yourself by spending more time with this person, which is almost non-consequential since for the most part we're all very passive-aggressive and we'll suffer something for a really long time before we somehow weasel our way out of it through a window of opportunity made by our significant other. Now, option number three, Barry, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. But come on up under my lap. You want to get up here? All right. Barry, we're talking about lying here. Now, we're going to do the third option of lying. Barry, what do you mean we should never lie to people? What the fuck? Barry, you – listen, buddy. The truth hurts sometimes. And when people ask you questions, especially self-conscious questions, you can't just give them a hard, cold, unsliced piece of fat, wet truth. They don't want that. That's, it's, it's clammy. It's – it's got a uh, little bit of flavor of tin, like it's been in, in tin and, uh, and uh, not so much water, but uh, oil, you know? Nobody, fuck, ugh, well, nobody wants that. What people want is a softened lie, a nice, salted, sweet cream butter lie, because that, mm, who doesn't want that? That's savory. People deserve to have that. Now, the third option, my, my, one of my personal favorites, and I tend to use this with questions across the board because the consistency is important, not answering at all now this leaves a lot of room for interpretation by the person asking the question are you interested well what's that supposed to mean uh and then and then imagination insecurity conclusions these are things that people immediately flock to with that so it's like it's like a choose your own adventure they they pick the adventure, and I let them choose which way they want to go. That, my friends, is, that's a perfect answer. That is a perfect answer because of all, because it has the best of both original evils. It is the painful, cold, cement truth, and it is also the warm, fleshy lie. They get to, they get to pick. They can jump back and forth between the two. It is a buffet of, of unfortunate responses that they get to feast upon uh all right and that being said this concludes our very first episode of on the couch with eric bone uh to answer your question as to when our next episode is coming up i can only say 